Hey, reminding you to take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. You matter. From a professional's point of view, can you describe what is an anxiety attack like? What are the symptoms or what are the phases of an attack? Okay, so actually, Bianca, I'm glad that people are talking about this because it helps no, destigmatize the condition. Now, it happens pala not only to me, but to other people as well. Yes. Now, when we say anxiety or panic attacks, actually two phases yan. It has two components. We have the emotional and the physical component. For the emotional part, ito yung nakakaramdam ka ng extreme distress that you feel so restless, you feel so afraid. Sometimes for a reason, for example, you have a test coming up or sometimes nga for no reason at all eh. I know of a client who was just driving and then suddenly nagkaroon siya ng onset of fear wow. without any triggers. That's actually very scary. So kasama dyan, distress, apprehension, extreme worries, fears. Yan yung emotional parts. For the physical parts, when the emotional part gets too intense, nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag naming psychosomatic symptoms which are physical symptoms manufactured by your brain kahit wala naman talaga siyang physiological na triggers. For For this part, actually medical professionals have all agreed that an anxiety attack can physically feel like a heart attack. Mm. Okay, so if you ask yung mga nurses na nagtatriage sa ERs, they will tell you that they get a lot of people coming to them saying that they are having a heart attack pero anxiety attack pala because they experience yung shortness of breath, they're struggling to breathe, may chest tightness, and then nagpapalpitate yung heart. For some people, parang merong lump sa throat nila so they feel like they're choking and then in some cases, they feel dizzy some even faint actually and nagkakaroon acid reflux that's another physical symptom of anxiety and headaches yan yung mga nangyayari kapag nagkakaroon ka ng anxiety attacks how does one manage their anxiety attack like if they feel it if they feel everything you were saying like the tighten your chest they're having a hard time breathing my lumps sa throat and, and all that well ang first kasi na nag-o-onset is the emotional part una mong nararanasan is the fear the distress, the worry. If nandun ka pa lang sa stage na yon, sa first phase na yon, of course, what you have to do is to find your comfortable space and you try to rationalize against the anxiety. What works is for you to look around and see that there is no threat. And that's the reason why your brain is feeling afraid. Why you are feeling afraid? Kasi you're thinking that there's a threat. That's the purpose of the anxiety. It's our survival tool to protect us in case yes. there's a threat. If there is a trigger, for example, let's say it's an exam. You have an exam tomorrow. Babagsak ako babagsak ako. Diba? Instead of convincing yourself or entertaining the thought na babagsak ka, why not ask yourself the opposite question? Paano kung hindi? Do you have an evidence na babagsak ka? Di ba you studied naman kanina? Para ma-prevent natin yung psychosomatic symptoms. However, for some people na nag-progress na sa phase 2, may psychosomatic na, this is the best that you can do. Again, find your safe space, your most comfortable space. If possible, please sit down. Kasi again, one of the symptoms nga is dizziness. So, we want to protect you also from painting and then do slow breathing exercises. Deep breathing exercises. Again, this is to regulate. Again, your breathing, your heart rate, para mawala yung lump sa throat mo. So, you inhale through the nose, hold it in for a little bit, and then exhale through the mouth. It sometimes also helps to close your eyes because the stimuli from the environment, that mm. also contributes to the panic. No, Pag ang dami mong nakikitang naggagalawan, ang daming colors, ang daming bagay, so it helps to close your eyes. But if you're not comfortable closing your eyes, pick an object in the room where you can focus your attention to. Let's say you you picked a painting. Focus on the painting. What colors do you see? Ano yung lines? Are there straight lines? Curved lines? Is it a picture of an animal? Abstract ba siya? Do you like it? Do you enjoy this painting? So it helps to distract you from the fear that's, you know, dapat non-existent naman. Another thing that you could do is to relax the tensions in your body because most of the time, if you're having psychosomatic symptoms, mapapansin mo yan, parang may muscles na naka-clench. The most common ones nasa shoulders. Kaya diba after ng anxiety attack, ang sakit ng shoulder blades mo. So, minsan mapapansin mo nakataas siya. Release that tension. Yung feet mo, sometimes when you are feeling restless, nakatiptoe ka pala. Plant your feet firmly on the ground. Okay? Ano-ano pa yung mga muscle tensions? Again, body scan. Do a body scan from head to toe. Identify your tension areas and then release. So, that helps relax your body. Pag-relax na si body, pwede ka nang mag 
mental clarity. Again, babalik ka dun sa naunang sinabi ko, Bianca, na magra-rationalize ka against the anxiety. Kapag nag-onset na kasi yung psychosomatic symptoms, mahirap na unahin natin yung mental clarity. Kasi the body is too awake. So you have to calm it down muna. Pag kalma na yung body, balik na sa normal rate yung heartbeat mo, yung breathing, you can now rationalize against the anxiety. So those are just some of the ways that you could manage your anxiety attacks. Wow, that was super, super helpful. And tama ba kay what I'm understanding? Parang all the tips that you gave were sort of pointing to whoever's going through anxiety attack, kunyari ako, I have to focus on the now. Kasi you were talking about breathing, you were talking about fixating your eyes on one object, tapos doon ka lang mag-focus, titignan mo, magtatawang ko ng questions, you're focusing on the yung mga tense muscles. Parang it's, it all brings you back to the right now. Tama ba yun? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You have to focus at the moment and the now. That's what mindfulness is all about, diba? You focus on what's happening right now because our anxieties tend to bring us so far ahead into the future eh. Parang hindi pa nangyayari, dinadala na niya tayo doon and then we'll fall down the rabbit hole na na nanganganak nang nanganganak yung idea. So you have to bring yourself back to the present na it hasn't happened yet. We're not even sure that it's gonna happen, whatever it is that you're afraid of. So you have to bring yourself back to the present. You cannot allow yourself to fall down that rabbit hole because again, that will just aggravate whatever symptoms you're experiencing right now. You can listen to the longer conversation with Kay on How Can I Overcome an Anxiety Attack on Paano Bato the Podcast on Spotify. Follow Paano Bato on Instagram and you can join our private Facebook group.